Full text search is leveraged or used within the query primarily inside of the WHERE clause. So here we're saying WHERE CONTAINS, and CONTAINS is the keyword for using full text search. What this will actually do is tell SQL Server to call out to the full text search engine and request in specific columns specific words. There's a lot we can do with this. To execute it and look at the execution plan, Here's a remote scan. Looking at the bottom of the box, you can see the remote object is contained. That's the actual verb that it called. The output list came from the full text search engine dot key. So that's what the full text search returns is the key or the identifier for the row. That was joined together with more information from the row. and then looked at the RID lookup so it could see the final result. A corollary of the contains is contains table, which instead of working with a WHERE clause actually returns a table, which you can then join with, do whatever you want to. It's pretty cool. So here we're doing the same search. Instead of saying fable dot all columns, you have to say fable, and then the second parameter is the column. Here I'm putting asterisk. We're still searching for lion. So, execute this, and you'll see it returns the actual key value. You'll see a new column there, rank, which shows the rows ranked in priority for which ones had the most significant representation of the word lion someplace in those columns. Maybe lion is found in more than one column. Maybe it's found close to the beginning of the column. But this is the rank it came up with. Rank will always be someplace between 100 and 0. Because contains table returns a table, we can actually join with it. So in this next query, we're looking at the from table and the contains table and then joining. I'm calling the contains table with an alias of FTS, full text search. And then we're joining on fable ID equals the key column from FTS and then ordering it descending by rank. Pretty cool. A fourth parameter, here it's a two, limits the number of rows returned by contains table just like the top predicate in a SQL query. So there we see the top two for contains table. There are a number of cool advanced ways we can work with contains and contains table. To pass a complete phrase, you can put double quotes around a phrase. And this is because it's a service outside of SQL Server. So full text search actually uses double quotes to contain strings, not single quotes like SQL. So this query passes a phrase, including punctuation, and searches for wolf wolf. And it finds it in the shepherd's boy and the wolf. If you want to work with ands and ors and work with multiple phrases, let me show you how that can be done. Here we're searching for just the fable text for the tortoise and the hare. And because we're telling it to search for tortoise and hare, it'll actually look for tortoise and hare. If we want to specifically look for any place where there's two words and we want both words to be there but in any order, in any location, you don't want to use a phrase. For example, here, thrifty and supperless doesn't find anything because thrifty and supperless is not part of one contiguous phrase. But we can break it apart and use two different contains. This finds the ants and the grasshopper. And if we want to use wild cards, for full text search, we have to go back to the DOS wildcards. No more percent sign for multiple characters. We're back at the DOS asterisk. Another cool option for contains is the near keyword. This will actually only find instances where these two words are relatively near each other in the document in the text column. So this example looks for lion, near the word paw, near the word bleeding. Then here's the same thing using a contains table. So we actually pull out the rank. Another cool option is the ability to wait. And let me close the properties to give us more room so we can see all of this. The first time we're going to be looking for lion, brave, and eagle all weighted about the same. 
Then if we change it so that eagle weights highest, so you can see the results change. Eagle and the fox show up on top. This query searches all of the columns, again weighting eagle as the highest. And instead of just the fable text, if we search for all the columns, eagle comes in highest at the hunter and the woodman. Inflection is one of the coolest features. And here you have to use forms of inflectional. So we're going to look for the word pity. And just to identify this, it's the, um, the dove and the ant. Let's go back to Object Explorer. Fable Open Table. Here's the dove and the ant. And we're looking for the word pity. And the actual word is, the dove pitied her condition. So even though we searched for the word pity, it knew the word pitied is an inflectional change of the word pity. This is cool because you can search for run and find the word ran or running. Geese finds the golden goose. Just jumping down here to fly and it finds the crow in the picture, which talks about the crow flying and it flew. So inflectional is very cool.